I've never done this on my phone before, so I just figured it out. All right, I see you. As promised, I am pantsless. I have a robe on and no pants, but I do have underwear on, in case you're curious. Uh, so what songs do y'all want to hear? Uh, I think somebody requested this actually yesterday on my Twitter, and it's a good song to start with. It's by Stevie Wonder. It's called Love's in Need. Good morning, evening friends. Is your friendly announcer? I have serious news to pass on to everybody what I'm about to say could mean the world's disaster it could turn your joy and laughter to tears and pain you know that love of love today Don't delay Send yours in right away You know that hate Going round Breaking many hearts It's gone too far The force of evil plans To make you its possession and it will if you let it destroy everybody We all must take precautionary measures If love and peace and treasure today so that song little fun fact I played that song when I auditioned for Lauren Hill 
Um, I played on a song called Everything Is Everything on the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. That was me doing the... <laughs> And so when I played that on the album, I was nobody. I was just a junior at the University of Pennsylvania. Nobody knew who I was at the time. You're still nobody. And I'm still nobody, according to Chrissy. And um, I went to the studio with my friend Tara. She was friends with Lauren Hill. She took me to the studio with her. And um, she was working on the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. This is the spring of 1998. And... Um, during one of the breaks while they were working on this song, which eventually became Everything Is Everything, um, Tara was like, um, Johnny, you should play a couple songs for Lauryn Hill. And so I played this original song I had written called Too Late, and then I played this Stevie Wonder song that I like to play and sing called Love's In Need. And uh, of course, it's very relevant for today, but uh, I played it way back in 98 uh, when I was auditioning for Lauryn Hill, and I got the gig because I got to play on her album, eventually um, auditioned for her tour as well. And I was going to drop out of college to go on tour with her if she picked me. But she did not pick me. So I graduated. <laughs> so that's my story. And that was one of the most influential albums of that moment in my life. And for a lot of other people, it's very influential too. Part of what inspired me to want to make my own records. People are requesting lots of songs. I saw Yvette Noel Shore, who I love dearly and was my publicist at Sony for a long time. She was there when I got signed. She asked me to do Stay With You. And uh, since we're all talking about staying home, hopefully you have somebody to stay home with. I sang this song at my wedding. It's called Stay With You. It's from my first album, Get Lifted. <laughs> Been together for a while now, growing stronger every day now. It feels so good, and there is no doubt I will stay with you. As each morning brings a sunrise, and the flowers bloom in springtime, all my loving you can rely. I will stay. With you, I will stay with you through the ups and the doubts. I will stay with you when no one else is around. When the dark clouds are, I will stay by your side, and I know we'll be all right. I will stay. I know that we'll find love so beautiful and divine. We'll be lovers for a lifetime, yes, and I'll stay with you. Oh, I will stay with you through the ups and the downs. I will stay with you when no one else is around. When the dark You say, and I know we'll be all right. I will stay with you. Everything will be fine. I will stay with you. Till the coronavirus declines, I'll stay home with you. All right, what else do we want to hear? 
Let's see. Um, well, let's talk about why we're here, first of all. Um, obviously, we know this um, COVID-19 coronavirus is affecting people all around the world. And part of how we prevent it from spreading to even more people and hurting more people is we have to stay home. We have to physically distance ourselves from strangers, from other people in social interactions, from anybody that might be sick. And so um, we're all home for a bit. I'm not going to work. You're not going to work, a lot of you. Um, a lot of folks that uh, aren't in jobs that are like hospitals or grocery stores are staying home and trying to figure out how to work from home. And as my friend Chris Martin, Chris Martin started yesterday, a lot of um, artists have decided we want to try to help make staying home a little bit easier for everybody. So we're going to try to entertain you. Uh, you know, a lot of our concerts have been canceled and pretty much every gathering that re requires a lot of people has been canceled. But, you know, music can heal. M music can bring us together. And so that's why we're here. So we're encouraging everybody to stay home, practice social distancing, physical distancing. Um, don't go anywhere if you can avoid doing so. But also, we want you to donate. Um, if you have the ability to help other people that are struggling, a lot of people can't work right now um, and can't figure out a way to feed their family. A lot of people are already struggling with that prior to this crisis, and this makes it even harder. A lot of folks that would normally go to school right now um, and would get fed at school aren't getting fed there. So there are food banks and organizations all around the country, all around the world that are trying to help with that. So go to feedingamerica.org to help um, fund some of those food banks if you have the ability to do so. Um, and then uh, go to globalcitizen.org slash coronavirus to take some meaningful actions to help stop coronavirus. Um, Chrissy's here, guys. Super boring. Hi. Hi. Do you have any requests, Chrissy? Well, I had to wear a towel. Chrissy, um, um, her wardrobe was requested by the audience, and it was a towel. I let you guys pick. Oh, and she has a headband on. I do have a turban. Headband of the day. It's the heaven of the day Push your locks away With the heaven of the day Technically a turban, but... Turban of the day. Hi, everybody. So what are we doing? She's drinking uh, some rosé right now. Drinking. I won't plug my own brand. It feels inappropriate at this moment, but you know, you know what brand it is. Okay. Anyway, uh, what songs do you guys want to hear? I'm looking... I'm looking. It's good lighting. Good lighting. I, have, I need glasses. You want to hear the butt song? It's the butt song. Well, I'm just going to play what I want then. If I don't see any more requests. Play, um, play Everybody Knows, the song that you oh. broke up with me to. I did not break up with you to a song. You guys, some of you know that John broke up with me for a minute many years ago, and then I had to go to his show still, because I was still stuck there, I couldn't get home, we were on tour. I don't remember this. And then he sang this song, and I was in the front row, and I was crying, because I liked this song a lot, and he had just broken up with me, so. And I have to look up the lyrics, because I haven't done it in a while. But I love this song, but I also hate it. But... It all worked out. We got married, we had two babies, and we're never breaking up ever again in life. Yeah, but sometimes I think about who I would be with. Oh, Matt, Matt, Matt. Because you're the one that did it. Matt, okay. Here's the lyrics. Here we go. You don't even know your it own lyrics. It gets harder every day, but I can't seem to shake the pain. Try to find the words to say, please stay. It's written all over my face that I can't function the same when you're not here. I'm calling your name and no one's here. I hope one day you'll see nobody has it easy. Still can't believe you found somebody new. But I wish you the best, I guess. Everybody knows, but nobody really knows how to make it 
cooped up with somebody in the house why you want to smell guys, good why would you guys think this is an ad secret deodorant <laughs> secret deodorant secret deodorant secret it's is so happy right now this free ad, ad. secret deodorant secret she's deodorant. giving away for free So, um, the first song that I explicitly wrote for you is called Good Morning. Oh, okay. It's about waking up to each other and doing it. Spoon style. My 
Jenna Fisher from the office. Oh yeah. Hi, and Mindy Kaling asked yesterday if we could do um, the office theme song with a coronavirus lyric. Not coronavirus lyric. She said made up lyrics. Oh, the made up lyric. What other? Because someone lied to her, they were pranking her. Yeah, her and uh, Kevin is trying to use the vetting machine, and she so sweetly and so earnestly said, "This is a button." That's my favorite. It this is a button. Happy. Somebody requested "Bridge Over Trouble." Is anyone watching this? There are ninety-five thousand people watching. Oh, wow, we had eight thousand yesterday. So. When you're all weary And feeling small When tears are in Your eyes I will dry them all I'm on your side All oh, the times get rough And friends just can't Can't be found Love of bridge Over trouble Water I will lay me down like a bridge over troubled waters. I will lay me down. Oh, when darkness 
cars The pain is all All around Like a bridge Over troubled waters I will lay me down Conversations in the dark. It's hot in here. Talk. Let's have conversations in the dark. World is sleeping. I'm awake with you. With you. Watch movies that we both already seen. I ain't even looking at the screen. I've got my eyes on you And you say that you're not worthy And get hung up on your flaws But in his eyes you are perfect As you are I will never try to change you, change you I will always want the same, you say Swear on everything I pray to I won't break your heart. I'll be there when you get lonely. Keep the secrets that you told me, told me. Hey, love is all you owe me. And I won't break your heart. Bars. Sunday mornings, we sleep until noon. Sleep forever next to you, next to you, and we we got places we both gotta be. There ain't nothing I would rather do than go off on my plans for you. And you say you're not worth it. You know, on your floor. My eyes, you are perfect as you are, as you are. I will never try to change. I will always want the same. Swear on everything I pray to that I won't break your heart. I'll be there when you get lonely. Keep the secrets I get told. And your love is all you owe me. Hello. And I won't break your heart. Ooh. 
Preach. She calls it peach. Oh, she loves I can't just peach, peach baby. Peach. I can't just peach, baby peach. When we were in the car going to school the other day, she was like, I want to hear it once, and then when I want to hear it again after that time. <laughs> she likes preach. So I'll do that, a little bit of that. Why are you drinking wine? I'll drink after I sing. Every day I wake and everything is broken Turning off my phone just to get out of bed Get home every evening, history's repeated Turning off my phone cause it's hurting my chest Hey, heaven knows I'm not out
Yeah, that's Luna's request. Um, just so you guys know, I am going to put out a new album this year. Now. Oh my God, thank God. We were all. Thank God. Everybody, everybody was. was out. You know, they're like, do we need medicine for this virus or do we need a new album from John? And they prioritized my album coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's very important. Yeah, we don't need. We don't need medicine. Yes, no medicine. No. Ideally, we'll have both. But everybody's home. Everybody. But if I could pick, I'd probably pick the medicine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Um, <laughs> but everybody's home. You need, you need stuff. You need music. You need TV. You need films. You need stuff to entertain you. So I am going to put Hi. some music out, okay? Now, since in LA, we're not really bringing production crews together... So, we're probably not going to shoot any videos anytime soon. So, will we make music videos? Maybe. We might do something animated that someone can do in their own, in their own bedroom on their computer. Um, we might, I don't know, we'll do lyric videos, we'll do fun things. Ah! Nobody cares, you're losing viewers. Lost <laughs> me. I literally just logged out. I'm at 114,000 now. We have gained viewers. Oh. Oh, oh. Don't do that. Sorry. I'm going to talk for a second, okay? okay All right. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to release, release some music. Luna. Luna loves going on my laptop, so she might tweet something Luna, right no. now. Stop. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're going to release music. Um, I don't know what the schedule is going to be like. We're just going to start putting stuff out. Um, we are in the process of mixing a lot of the stuff on the record. Luckily, we already wrote and recorded most of it. She said, good boy. Um, and so we're going to start releasing stuff. Um, I'll give you a little preview of one of the songs we're about to release. I'll tell you a little story about it first. Um, you guys know the song Next Episode by Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. It goes like this. You know that song? Da 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 da. be on double G. New jam. Okay, now that song was based on a sample of a song called The Edge by David McCallum. Here's oh. that song. Uh huh. You hear it? So this is the original. Do you hear it? It's the exact same thing. It's the exact song. same thing. And now we have it. sampled the same song for a song called Actions. And the chorus is actions speak louder than love songs. I'll give you a little preview of it. Oh, sounds familiar. It's so funny because you make love, love songs and you should find Yeah, but actions speak louder than love songs, right, baby? Yeah, you should try it. With another love song that I wasted. Just another love run out of patience. Carry on the action. Speak louder than, speak louder than, speak louder than love song. I've been doing it all wrong. So anyway, that's the song. Action, speak louder than love songs. Basically, I'm putting myself out of business. Or I'm challenging myself to live up to the things that I say. And we should all challenge ourselves to do that. Okay, let's do a love song that I wrote for Chrissy as my last song of this concert. You guys know this song? It's called All of Me. Oh, she's drinking a lot now. It, uh, it's for both of it's us. It's for both of us. Okay, now we'll do All of Me, and that will close our show. Just so you guys know, one more time, we want to support all the food banks and everybody. Go to feedingamerica.org. If you want to learn more about how you can take other meaningful actions to stop coronavirus, go to globalcitizen.org slash coronavirus. Uh, you can support the World Health Organization Solidarity Fund. They're doing a lot of stuff to help people all around the world. Um, and 
Well, let's shout out all the musicians. I know a lot of industries are affected by this, but a lot of musicians aren't wealthy. They live gig to gig, and the um, Recording Academy and Music Cares are doing something for them. If you want to do something to help uh, musicians who are out of work and need help, a lot of musicians deal with the same issues that other folks deal with, like addiction issues, homelessness, um, access to food, all those things. So if you want to help with those folks, go to Grammy.com backslash Music Cares. Music Cares with one C, okay? Um, but all of that stuff basically is telling you guys we got to love each other, we got to take care of each other, we got to help each other. Try not to be selfish. I know part of your instinct is to make sure you take care of yourself and your family first, and I understand that, but also realize you're part of a community. So make decisions that may not benefit you personally, but will help your community. And one of those things is for young people to stay home and, and distance, because a lot of young people won't get you know, deathly ill from this virus. Um, but part of what you're doing by distancing is being considerate of people that are vulnerable, people that are older, people that have immune system issues. So please be mindful of your neighbors, be mindful of your family members. Um, call your grandma, call your dad and mom, um, call everybody, check on them, make sure they have what they need and make sure that they're not exposing themselves to this because they are particularly vulnerable. And take care of your elderly. Yeah. A lot of grocery stores are having elderly hours, which is just the most incredible, beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, and I encourage you to not be a dick and go during those hours. Don't hoard. Please don't hoard. Don't take things you don't need. And yeah. let, them, let them go to the grocery store in peace where they feel safe and comfortable. And it's going to be fine. We're all going to be okay. Everybody We're going to get through it. Yeah, and don't transfer your anger and, and your madness in isolation into other people. I yeah. suggest you get a stress ball or a punching bag. Or, or there are mental health, online. Or mental health um, resources online, too. So if you have, are having issues with that, like, I'm seeing take my care therapist of today via Skype. Chrissy is seeing her therapist via Skype today. <laughs> um, and if you uh, are able to access some of those uh, mental health resources, like make sure you take care of yourself um, because um, it's important that your mental health is taken care of. I know like for people who have anxiety, who have depression, this situation could act exacerbate it. So um, find ways to um, um, help mitigate those effects on you and your family. Okay, everybody. And... You know, we're passing this on. Chris Martin passed this torch to me. There are a bunch of artists that I know want to do this. I know Miguel is going to do it this week. I know my friend Janae Aiko is going to do it oh, this I'm week. Be beautiful. And That's my request. Okay. Be beautiful. Oh, Chrissy's a Mariah fan, so she loves the song that Miguel did with Mariah. Yes. That, um, would, be um, that would be amazing. I know uh, Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello are going to do one soon. Um, I don't know which days all of these are going to happen. Charlie Puth is going to do one soon. I don't know which days, but tune into all of their I'm socials. I'm calling out Ariana. I want. I know she's a homebody. You want some already. Ariana? I would just die. Yeah. Ariana. So all of us are home. None of us are touring. So we encourage all of our fellow musicians to do more of this. Um, oh and my gosh! Could you meet, imagine comedians too? Doing yes, like a little set I saw that. Um, for everybody, it'd be so cool. Who was on? Who was doing out in front of their house the other day? Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, it was somebody oh, I follow. Oh, it'd be so cool, though. I mean, uh, practice your, your new Netflix special in front of us first. Yeah. It'd be so awesome. So, you know, we all, as entertainers, we want to entertain you guys, and we want to um, help, you know, everybody get through this. And so we'll find ways to do it. But be mindful that there's a lot of entertainers that don't have a cushion. They don't have a lot of savings. So just think about them, people in the restaurant business that don't, Oh you know, my gosh, I've been actually, we've been, John and I still have been supporting restaurants around us, and I will tell you, when I call to order or delivery or something, they are so happy that people are even uh, recognizing them and recognizing the fact that they can still do these orders, and, and they'll talk to you about what they're experiencing, and it, it's just, it's, you know, everybody has got a little bit of suffering, and so um, support as many people as you can, as many local businesses as you can, um, whether it's getting gift cards or or ordering food and just make sure you heat it up well. And I mean, there's always gonna be someone having something to say about everything. But um, I personally still love being able to um, support everybody that's working out there because yeah. they don't wanna have to be doing this. And they, I mean, isolation is honestly a gift um, that 
that not that well, many a, people have. So. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's mm -hmm. something that some people can afford to do, but a lot of people cannot afford to do. So um, just realize that, and we have to call on our leaders. I don't want to get too political right now, but we have to call on our leaders to help everybody because uh, there are folks that, like, I saw a stat that most Americans could not get through a $400 crisis. They don't have enough savings in their uh, accounts to do that. And so just realize that there are a whole bunch of people that are not in a position to absorb the blow that this is going to um, inflict on them. And so we have to do something as a collective to help them. So um, just think about that. And, I think um, now people know the importance of who's in office. Absolutely. Leadership you matters. You're seeing what you vote for. You're seeing the direct impact of who you're voting for. Empathy matters in a leader, someone that's clear-headed and that is not selfish in, in the way that they lead, that thinks about the collective and thinks about what is best for the collective. So we need a leader like that in this country. We don't have it right now. Um, so think about that when you vote. Let's do one more song. Drawing me in and you kicking me out Got my head spinning, no kidding I can't pin you down What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride And I'm so dizzy, don't know what hit me But I'll be alright my hands underwater, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy and I'm out of my mind. Cause all of me loves all of you. Love your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections. Give your Even when I lose and win Cause I give you all I mean You give me all Of you oh. How many times do I have to tell you Even when you're crying you're beautiful too the world is beating you down I'm around through every move You're my downfall, you're my muse My worst distraction, my rhythm and blues I can't stop singing this, ringing in my head for you My head's underwater but I'm breathing fire I mean, 
And you give me all of you Oh, I give you all of me And you give me all of you One of the big questions I always got is like, do you just cry whenever he sings it? Do you sob? Do you sob? Oh my god! <laughs> and she said, yes, of course she does. Yeah, oh my god, I cry every time. <laughs> no, I cried when he sang it to me the first time. He whispered it into my ear, oh. and I cried. Oh. After that, no, it became everybody's song, which is awesome. I'd prefer it to be everybody's song, but do I have an emotional reaction to it anymore? No. I don't. And that's okay, everybody. <laughs> we love you guys. Um, are you going to go live later? I'm actually, um, if you want to get dirtier, and Ooh. you want to, Ooh. Um, we're going to cook. We are going to. Let's fry some chicken. John's going to actually drink. John's going to fry chicken. I have some rosé. I'm going to swear. Um, we swore a little bit. I might bit wear my gown. Morning. That was the second choice for other people. Yeah. But I'm going to go live on my Instagram and on the Cravings by Chrissy Teigen Instagram. Um, actually, no. I'm just going to go live on the Cravings by Chrissy Teigen Instagram. So follow that account. Um, I'm going to go live from that, and we're going to cook, and we're going to get drunk, and try to take care of our kids, I guess. Um, Optional. They should be fine, honestly. They're pretty resilient at this point. <laughs> but I encourage you, if you're bored still, and you're going to miss this, whatever just happened, but you also are dirtier. And go ahead and head over to Cravings by Chrissy Teigen's uh, and account. Crazy Cravings by Chrissy Teigen is Chrissy's website. And, you know, yes. she puts a lot of amazing content up there. And if you feel like cooking at home, which you'll have a lot more time to do now, she has a lot of recipes there that will yes. help you figure out what to make. And um, while we're plugging, I'm going to have some new music coming soon. Pay attention to my socials for that. Um, they say there might be a Corona baby boom um, after after all this. Um, I have music that will help you. I told you I wanted a third baby. You said no. Oh uh, well, if we listen to some of these songs enough, we might just have one. I'm not having a baby to your. Who music. who knows? Who knows? I'm listening to that Ursher. Oh, okay. All right, that's it. We're out of here. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. How do you save you it? Want to save it down. How do you save it?